and this video is going to be a review and demonstration of the uh, Propel Atom 1.0 micro drone or quadra drone, quadrocopter. Um, the contents you see here is what comes in the box. You've got your manual. You have extra propellers, charger, your controller, and of course, keep it in camera, the actual Atom uh, drone. And uh, as you can see, it has three three blade propellers. That's a, a better design than the two blade. Uh, it's generally more efficient. Um, it does come in a variety of colors, but especially the best color, that being red. Um, for all you colorblind people, there are other colors, just red's the best. <laughs> um, the controller, so the, the drone itself has a rechargeable battery in it. The controller takes uh, two double A's. It takes 30 minutes to charge and it'll run for about 10 minutes and size wise the body is just under two inches and propeller to propeller sideways is just under three and you're looking at uh, three and a half uh, for the, at its widest so it's pretty small pretty light um, it does charge with a USB as you saw with the cable so the controller we can do the basics here with your controller you have keep it in the frame left button this is your throttle. Push it farther up you go, the more power you're giving it. Turning it left, and there is resistance going left and right, so you don't accidentally turn the drone, which is very important, as you'll see when we go to fly it, but that will cause the drone to turn left or right. The right, it does not automatically come back. Um, and I think the reason that they did that is because you can actually reverse this so that throttle goes the other direction. Uh, I won't get into that, but it's in the directions. The right side, that is your um, banking, if you will. If you put it, push it forward, it'll tilt as I do hand motions outside of the camera. As, if you, as you push it forward, it'll tilt it forward causing it to move forward back right and left the silver gray propellers you might you'll notice there's two different colors silver the uh, silvery gray that is your front of the drone black is the back of the drone there are also lights that you will see uh, once I start it white on the front red on the back there is power buttons here you also have trim so you can adjust very minor adjustments for forward and backward and left and right so that you can uh, if it's a little off you can adjust that I've not had to mess with it at all um, so to get started what you want to do with the drone on a flat surface here is your on off switch you will turn it on turn the drone on there's your lights turn your drone on then you will turn the see if I can have the drone still in the picture turn your controller on 
Okay, you heard that. The lights went solid. You then want to move your throttle all the way up and back. It is now synced with your drone. If you have multiple drones, this will actually work with multiple drones. Now that you've got this one set, you go to the next one, you do the exact same thing, leaving this one on. So the next thing I'm going to do, other than moving it forward so it's got more room for the controller, I'm going to move the sticks to the bottom left. You're going to see the lights flashing. That means that it is uh, setting the gyro, uh, the internal gyro, because it's on a flat surface. Okay, the gyro is now set. That is, that's, that's what it now believes is flat. So now the fun part is the flying. And flying and trying to keep it inside a camera picture. So let me adjust the camera. So we give it a little throttle. You'll see it starts spinning. And we have liftoff. I suggest the first thing you do is just try to learn to hover. It's harder than it looks as you can see as I'm flying all over the place. Um, so, just to show you a couple things, I am only going, I'm not turning it because turning it is a lot harder than just hovering like this. I can go left, right, left. I can bring it back and forward. and sit down. So if you do crash and burn, hopefully it didn't burn, you'll want to reset the gyro by moving them to the bottom left. Uh, I did not crash, so I'm fine. So what I'm gonna show you now is a stunt that it'll do, a flip. So I'm gonna hover it, push down on the right stick, and then turn it right. Whoa and that it'll flip multiple, it'll flip whichever direction uh, that you move the right stick after um, pushing it down towards the controller. There's also, let me see if I can do it without crashing, turning. Again, it's a lot harder There we go. Oh. It's a lot harder than, than it looks to try to turn. Because it, uh, there we go. Um, there's also two speeds. It'll start off in what's called the low speed. You can also, by pushing straight, by pushing down on the left stick, you will move it to the high speed. Now I'm at high speed. It's, uh, harder, you have more uh, sensitivity because it has, it'll actually go faster. So that's the basics on flying it. You can see the lights, white for the, on the front, red on the back. That helps you know where it is. Alright, I wanted to sh let you see what it looks like in the dark. You see the lights. That's probably all you can see. But you can fly it in, at night in the dark because you get a little bit of light. You can, And you can tell the red is the back side, the white is the front. And it illuminates a little bit in the hall there. Hopefully you, it'll show up. And your stunts look really cool at night. Don't hit the ceiling. Because um, the light will you, uh, move around. Anyway, uh, a couple quick things. Don't Try not to run into hard surfaces with the blades. That's what will break your blades. I have played, this a played with this a lot. I've only broke one. Um, you get like a couple replacements. Um, you get a couple replacements of each blade. 
um, you got to make sure you get the right replace a broken blade with the exact blade that is labeled uh, in your replacements um, they just p pull off and and push back on they are very stiff doing so but they but they will pull off and uh, you can push them back on and they do offer if you join their flight plan I think it's called um, they do offer free replacements for a year and uh, you just gotta pay shipping so um, that's pretty much it oh oh um, um, I will when the when the battery is getting low it will the lights will start flashing that's how you know the battery is getting low so if the when it starts flashing that means you need to kind of bring it back you know down and don't uh, don't have it way up in the air it will eventually come come down without your help and range uh, real quick on range I don't know the exact range I've had it out about 30 feet away and it's I still had control so there you go that's the uh, uh, Adam uh, drone review hopefully it was helpful they are a lot of fun please like comment subscribe and take it easy so when there's no light that means that it is charging there's no light showing on the charger that means that it is charging and as you see the light is on brightly that means it is fully charged and there you go it's fully charged and here is the charger plugged into the drone with the light just the light on uh, which is what you get when you have a have it plugged in but not charging um, or fully charged and there be aware that the, the plug goes in only one direction there's a little tiny arrow that's probably not going to show up on a camera um, for the top you gotta that's got to be on the top the uh, manual tells you about it and you just with that on top it'll plug right in do not force it